Okay, let's start uh, with the first lecture, the introduction. So this is like a basic view of a computer system and different components uh, connected to it. So for instance, a computer has uh, memory, which is your RAM. It consists of a CPU that is the brains of the computer. It has different types of ports uh, through which your keyboards, your microphones, your printers, uh, your ethernet, your internet, etc. all those different types of ports, right? And they're all connected through a system bus. And that system bus also has different types of controllers connected to it, okay? So those controllers can connect your uh, uh, secondary storage, your CD drives, uh, your hard disks, uh, and so on, right? Your speakers, monitors, etc. everything can be connected through ports through this bus, okay? So what is the role of the software in running this whole ecosystem or this, or how does a software manage all this system, right? So software is basically a set of instructions, okay? So software basically runs uh, something, what is that something depends on what that software needs to do. For instance, if a computer needs to communicate with, let's say, the monitor or the CD drive, some kind of controller will be responsible for doing that job. Okay, And that is also software. That uh, piece of code that module, that controller is a piece of software. The software that we are usually accustomed to or the software that we see is the thing that's running on top of all these. So these, all these softwares usually we don't come in contact with, usually, right? So for instance, you plug in your USB, your USB comes uh, becomes available in the operating system, right? and you just double click and you do your thing. How did the computer know that something was attached to that USB port? So there is some software running behind it, okay? Similarly, the softwares that we see, Windows, Mac OS, etc. so these are all softwares. On top of these operating systems, Windows for instance, there are other type, other type of application programs that run different types of applications that help us do some things. Whether you want to play games, you want a word processing software, etc. So they're all examples of different types of softwares. So what is a software? Like I said earlier, is a sequence of instructions. Okay, that I will that if you click this this will happen. If you do this, this should happen, right? So all these are translated into machine code, into something that the computer can understand, meaning in the uh, form of ones and zeros, right? But for us, when we write a program in a programming language, uh, we write that the com compiler or the interpreter, interpreter takes that code, interprets it, and converts it into machine assembly language and then machine code, okay? So all that is hidden from us. All we say is, or we give our basic instructions that, okay, do this, 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 this. And then the compiler takes over and it translates into machine code and then those instructions are executed, okay? Now programming, or computer programming, software programming is the act of designing and implementing these types of programs, okay? Meaning that you have to design or uh, implement a set of instructions. And by a set, I mean a sequence of instructions. So that's the first thing I tell in any of my programming language is that any kind of code that you write will be top down. That first uh, uh, line is executed, second instruction is executed, third instruction is executed, and so on. So your software file or your 
uh, Python file will be a sequence of instructions that will top down. The computer does not jump from one line to, so let's say from the first bullet to the third bullet. Computer cannot do that. It will have to go from one, two, three, four, five. Every line is executed. So whatever you write will be executed as you have written. Okay, so just remember that. Then like I said earlier, so computer programs tell a computer the sequence of steps and programming is hence the act of designing, implementing and testing your programs. So I alluded to uh, testing before, uh, but uh, so first you design that okay, my program should do this, this and this, let's say. Then you implement it, meaning that you write that design or whatever you had in mind in code. And then finally, once you've written your code, you test it, whether the thing that you have written is working as it is supposed to, okay? So first step, design the thing that you want in your head or on paper, definitely. Then second, take that design, implement it in Python, and then third, test it while you're writing your code. And then finally, when you have finished all your code, test it holistically as well, okay? 